Hello my DIY underlings. Today we have a, another desk. The desk king is back. We have a computer desk. That's literally what it's called on the box here. And unlike my other desk that I built, this one's not a standing desk. So we at least have that going for myself. I'm gonna put this picture on the screen right here showing what this desk actually looks like assembled. So I'm gonna just probably not go into time lapse it because it's gonna take me a long time to do that. But um, I'll give you guys some updates along the way and let you guys know how difficult this is to set up. I'm hoping it's easy, but um, you know, with most desks, they're not that easy. So let's just jump into it and um, you guys can enjoy my suffering while these two little shrimps over here work on their job. We got Zach, McAllister, really putting in the, putting in the work here. The so, hours. the hours. <laughs> One thing I will say, this is replacing my current desk setup. So after, a good six, seven, eight. I'm finally upgrading my own. I did actually pick this one on the website. They have a bunch of them on their website that I could have chosen from. And you know, I have a big corner and I was like, you know, it'd be sick. Instead of like meshing the two desks that I have together right now, I was like, let's put together this giant one and make a unit of the setup. But just like looking at how many pieces there are, this is gonna be rough. And it's probably gonna take me more than just an hour or two vlog. What is cool about this setup is that you have like four installation options. So they, I think it's all the same parts, but just depending on how you want to set up your desk in your area, you can choose uh, between four layout options. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, you can just see from the instructions, it's gonna be a uh, bad, bad day for me. I think the whole width of this whole desk is like a hundred inches long. Yeah, You're about an hour in and uh, we, it's struggling a little bit. Mental struggling. Nothing's gone wrong so far. I think at least. I can always change really fast. Like my biggest fear is like, you see like the, the holes and everything on like the front of the desk here. It's like, what if I put them on backwards? Okay, ladies and gents, we have stopped for the day. And um, I've got about two thirds of the way done of just assembling the parts. And then after I assemble these parts around what you see here, we're gonna assemble them in the configuration that I want. And I'm not gonna say we're close, but we're getting there. We got the left side and the right side. And then I think the rest of what we have here in the middle is going to be the center part of the desk. So I'll update you guys tomorrow on where I end up. Uh, but overall, it's been pretty smooth of a process so far. So thumbs up for that. Day two. And we have done the drawer, which honestly took the longest out of everything else. Everything else is pretty straightforward, but this guy right here was kind of a pain. Um, especially, I mean, if you've ever built drawers from like Ikea or anything at all, it is kind of a pain to set up like the sliders and all that stuff. So this was no different and it gave me a bit of trouble, but got everything together. And I think the last step that we have to do is set up the, like the riser area for the middle area of the desk. And then it's just the part of putting everything together and making a desk out of all these pieces. So, yep, that's what we're gonna do next. I've been working on this for about an hour and a half now. So that plus the hour and a half I worked yesterday. So it's about three hours so far. And I bet we'll probably have another good like hour or so to finish this up. So not too bad, but let's just get to it. Everything's on except for um, the very last tabletop. And they give you a, where is it? Where did I put it? They give you a keyboard tray. I basically have in this box here and I'm not using that because if you use a keyboard tray in 2024, I don't know what you're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and just set everything up now and I'll put you guys on a time lapse and um, see these desks actually come together finally. All right guys, the desk is complete in my configuration. Overall, um, I'm a little conflicted here and um, I think I know what I'm going to do, but you know, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like with this current configuration. What I'm having issues with is that this riser up here on the top is kind of um, eating away at a lot of my desk space. And I think this is why they use that keyboard slider. I'm assuming with the intent of you not using this area up here as much. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to reuse a keyboard slider. I don't really want that. And um, I plan on sitting pretty close in. So I think I'm going to leave these risers off. And how they mount is they don't actually use like an actual like screw and drill in. They actually use, they have like a little screw spot. But what they use is what's over here. They use these um, like little screw on clamps. So you just kind of screw them on, you basically like hand screw them until they're tight enough to hold whatever you want on there. So they are removable, which is something that I like. So if you wanted to use these and ever want to take them off, you can. And you're not left with like really nasty screw holes that are just kind of drilled into the desk. So I think I'm going to leave this off um, just for the sole purpose of using a monitor um, mounts. 
back here. And then I have enough room for my keyboard mouse and it's still comfortable and nice for me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall installation of everything was pretty straightforward. Um, I didn't have to really guess on the instructions ever. And one thing I like about the instructions too, is you can see here, they say like, they point out some things that are really helpful, like pay attention to the orientation, like make sure you're doing this right. So that way, you know, if you screw something on backwards or something, it's not like on them and you know, they're not, it's not like a lack of instructions. So instructions were pretty clear, big plus on that. And overall it looks pretty good. Um, one thing that kind of sucks about, you know, the fact that it is a lot more um, universal and you can, you can set up the desk in different ways is you are left at the end of the day with some screw holes kind of exposed and there is a lot of hardware on the setup you can kind of see like there's tons of hardware everywhere but overall I mean for a budget option desk that has a lot of you know retail space it's not bad it looks pretty sleek and you know it feels pretty solid so not much to complain there I'm excited to kind of set it up and decorate it and get everything that I want on it and uh, see how it turns out from there but yeah overall a pretty big improvement for my current setup you can kind of see we have like two mismatched desks and a mini fridge to hold my PC on right now. But yeah, it's a pretty big upgrade and I'm, gonna, I'm excited to get this all set up and uh, ready to go. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video for this desk build. Um, I give it a, uh, a pretty solid rating and I'm excited to use this. I'm totally gonna throw on a light strip on the back to make it look a little more fancy. Overall, easy enough of a process to set up. It did take me a while since there were so many parts to actually assemble. But I think now that it's all said and done, if you wanna check out one of these desks yourself, you can check out the link in the description down below and um, check out this website because they have a handful of other options on their website that are pretty price effective. And if you're looking to get a desk with a lot of real estate space, this is one you should consider. Here's one more update for you guys before we end the video here. This is my new desk setup. I swapped over the two desks onto one and everything's all transferred over. Got a new monitor arm for the dual monitor. We've got one more monitor coming up as well, which is gonna be on the right side here and I'll move this PC forward, but we're still waiting on an arm for that. So we'll see what we can do for that. But overall, it's really nicely set up and I am pretty happy with it. So it gets the Jonas seal of approval. But again, thanks for watching to the end if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.